Okay, so this is part two of the video where I will tell you how you can remove M is equal to one URLs. I have already created a video about it, but the problem is that a lot of people are asking me, please add the code in the description, how you can remove that. Where in that video I was telling that, okay, but you do not need to add any code. And most popular opinion on the internet is where a lot of YouTubers are talking about it, add a JavaScript code on the website, which I explained in that video. And you should not add that code because that code doesn't work. Because when Google will crawl your website, first Google go to M is equal to one page, and then once the page is loaded on the browser, then the JavaScript code you will add or a lot of YouTubers are telling or a lot of blog are telling to add that will change the URL after the page is loaded. So that doesn't make any sense and I still doesn't support that code. Okay, guys, but I had to create another video because I found another solution. And guys, again, I'm telling you, do not use that JavaScript code, which I talk in the video. If you want to watch that video, I'll add the link in description or somewhere here on the top or in the description, you check the link and you can watch that video. That's really interesting and informational video. Okay, let's go to quick solution, how we can do that. So this time what we'll do, we'll disallow Google bot to access M is equal to one pages from our blogger website. We're gonna open a notepad file. We will add the code in this file, user agent colon asterisk, which means this is instruction for all the web crawlers. And then what we will do, we will write here disallow colon slash asterisk question mark m is equal to one. So what we are doing here, we are telling web crawlers, please do not access pages. We are not allowing you to access pages. And after all, of course, it's on Google that whether they want to honor this request or not. Because disallow tag is not completely on your hand. Google may decide to follow this instruction or not. Until now, this is the best solution for this issue. And guys, make sure there's no gap here between disallow and colon. And if you're seeing m is equal to zero, error in your Google search console, you can add disallow colon slash asterisk m is equal to zero. And guys, for faster indexing, please do not forget to add the sitemap URL of your blog website. Just replace this URL from here to your own blogger URL. So now what we'll do, we'll select all this code, right click and copy this code. And now we'll go to a blogger website and then from left sidebar, we'll click on settings. And now we'll scroll the page. And then we'll find this option, enable custom robots.txt. Make sure you enable this option from here. And now this option will be enabled. You can click on this tag custom robots.txt and now we'll paste the code what I just shown you. And guys make sure for sitemap replace your blogger website URL here. And rest this you can add the same code. You can find the code in description of this video. If YouTube doesn't allow to add me the code, I'll add the link to my website. We will add this code. So you just need to copy this code and add to your blogger website. I hope this solution will work for you. Let me know if it worked or not. And you might need to wait a few weeks or few months for all these URLs to go away from Google Search Console. So if this video helped you out, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. And please share this video with your classmates, your friends and your colleagues. And if you want to watch a very important and detailed video on robots.txt, please check this video on screen. I explain everything about robots.txt, that how you can use it to index your website faster and high ranking. And you can prevent your crawl budget. So make sure you watch this video on your screen.